Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Easy Explanation. In this video tutorial, we will be learning about the concept of name space in C++. So let us start by discussing the definition of name space. What is name space? So name space is a feature in C++ that helps to organize the related codes that is your codes can be variables it can be function or classes into separate logical scopes see it is a feature in c++ that helps to organize related codes that is variable function or classes into separate logical scopes so by grouping the course content or by grouping this course into variable function or classes into a separate logical space it provides us several advantages so the advantages of using namespaces are First, it helps us to avoid the naming conflict. So, avoid naming conflicts. The second is by using the concept of namespaces, it will help you to organize the codes and also improve codes. course maintainability not only that by helping by using the concept of namespace you can also achieve encapsulation in the code or in your program so it also helps us to achieve encapsulation in your program so these are the basic concept of namespace now let us understand all this concept by using by using code or by writing a c++ program for that i'll be writing a simple program or uh, let us create a new file called as a namespace underscore demo dot cpp now let us do required import so has include io stream write the main function int main now simply i want to print hello world message so see out hello world in there this, this is the simple program that will help you to display he hello world masses so the last statement will be obviously return zero now let us compile this code and try to execute this code so new terminal so i will compile this by using g++ name space demo.cpp as you can see while compiling i got some error like use of undeclared identifier c out did you mean std c out like this so we are getting some compilation error it means that the here the uh, these keywords like c out and end l are undefined in this main uh, in this main function or in the scope of the main function so to avoid such type of error what we'll do is we'll use a standard namespace something like this std c out std and l now after using this std namespaces and when we we'll compile this code you can see the compilation is done successfully and when i execute the code sorry dot slash a dot out will get the message called as a hello world it means that this keyword c out and end l are defined in standard or built-in namespace called as a std means the definition of c out and end l is available in the namespace called as a std so 
so if you will not use this std namespaces spaces within the program it will throw the compilation error means the definition of cout and nl cannot be found so our programs throw the compilation error now you can see i have used a scope resolution operator means from the standard namespaces import or use cout and from standard namespaces import or use handle by doing so our error got resolved and got the output something like hello world now you can use something like this or simply you can write by using this using directive using namespace std so by using this using directive in the main program or in this program it help you to import all the uh, variables function or classes defined within this std namespaces so i can remove this scope resolution operator now and still get, uh, we can compile the program and get the output see compilation is done successfully and got the output so this uh, using directive like when the namespaces std is imported or used using this using directive it will help you to import all the things means all the entities which can be variables it can be a function or any classes that are defined within this std namespaces and then we can then all these things are available within our scope and we can directly use this c out and c end in our program so these are the standard or built-in namespaces uh, available in c++ uh, c++ programming language now we can also define our own on namespaces means we can write our own namespace so the syntax to write or create our own namespace is so for the user defined namespace the syntax to create namespace you can use the keyword namespace followed by the user defined name of a namespace so user defined namespace name then within the curly bracket you can write variables you can write function you can write any classes like i am declaring a variable i am declaring a function etc so this uh, this variable this function are defined within this given namespace so let us use the same concept to define our own namespace here so i'll write name space let us say the namespace is a and within this namespace i'm defining a variable or declaring a variable int a is equals to 10. okay so i have defined a namespace called as a within this namespace i have declared a variable a now if i need to use this variable a within my program then what i'll do is c out then i can simply what is the namespace name the namespace name is a and use the scope resolution operator to access the content of this this namespace so i want to access or get the value of a so i'll write simply write a means this variable a a small a is available within the namespace called as a a now you can print the value we can retrieve the value like this you can see you got it prints the first message called as a hello world then from the namespace a i am importing this variable a so this scope resolution operator will help you to resolve the scope and it will print or get the value of a which is 10 and print the value of a which is 10 here in this way you can use the namespace you can define uh, any number of namespace you want like namespace b and let us say within this namespace i am defining a function called as a int test and it said let us say it will return a message called so it will return anything let us say it will return the value 10 or value 20 so if i need to use this function test which is defined within the namespace b then what i have to do is see out within the namespace b there is a function called as a test define call that function test and then use handle here if i'll compile the code you can see we have got the output as a 20 over here for this particular line number 15 so in this way the namespace will help you to organize the related codes into a separate logical spaces now let us say 
I am defining another variable a is equals to 10 here you can see in the namespace a we have a variable a is equals to 10 and the same and in the namespace b I am defining another value variable with same name like int a is equals to 10 now we have a two variable with the same name now by using the concept of namespaces it help you to avoid the naming conflict it help you to avoid the naming conflict so you can achieve that using something like this so you can see c out now in namespace b we have a variable defined call as a now we have a two separate variable a one is defined within the namespace a another is defined within the namespace b although they have the same name we can avoid the naming conflict by using this concept call as a uh, namespaces so you can see it will print the two separate values 10 10 and 20 if i'll make it as a 15 so our program does not throw any type of compilation error now so you can see we have got the value as a 15 here so this is the concept of namespace it help you to organize the code into a separate logical spaces so by organizing the code into separate logical spaces or into separate logical scopes it helps you to avoid the naming conflict we can have we can have two or more than two variables with the same name within the different namespaces so by doing so we can also achieve encapsulation right we are able to hide the related code then by using the concept of the namespaces you can achieve the like uh, our code can be maintained very much easily like you can easily maintain all the codes that are available within this namespace b and uh, like we are able to organize the code into a separate logical spaces now so that is the main advantage advantages of using namespace in c++ not only that we can also have like we can also define nested namespaces also like, let us understand the concept of nested namespace for that i'll uh, create another file called as nested namespace dot cpp so has include io stream then let us define a namespace called as a namespace test or let us say namespace a within namespace let us define another namespace called as a b so we are discussing about the concept called as a nested namespace namespace a and namespace b name space a and namespace b we have two namespaces defined now within this namespace let us define a variable let us say int a is equals to uh, let us say int test is equals to 10 and double check is equals to 20 i'll define the main function int main and within this main function let us say i have to use this variable 10 sorry variable test and variable check within the main function and what i have to do so let us say i just want to print the value so see out from the namespace a use scope resolution operator to access another namespace b which is defined within a and within the namespace b we have two variables one is test and let us use the same concept to print the value of check also so within the namespace a we have a namespace b defined and within the namespace b we have another variable called as a check defined and i can see we are getting the error like identifier c out is undefined so again we have to use this standard namespace as c out is defined within this similar to variable test and check this c out is defined within the standard namespace and ndl is also defined within the standard namespace so std std so you can see the error is gone now uh, you can compile your code and get the required output so g plus plus and dot slash a dot out you'll get the value as a 10 and 20 
so this is the concept of nested namespace that is available in c plus plus now let us understand the concept of using directive so as uh, i have briefly discussed about the using directive here now let us understand this concept again by using a simple program demo program so demo underscore using dot cpp so let us understand the concept of using directive so has include ios stream int main and see out let us say hello world and obviously it will throw error means the identifier c out and endl is not defined so you can resolve this error by using a scope resolution operator for c out std and endl so by doing so we can resolve this error or what you can do is you can use this using directive so using name space std by doing so this using directive help you to import all the entities that are available within the namespace std so using directive imports all the entities defined within name space std so now by doing so what we can do is we can avoid using this thing we can avoid using this scope resolution operator now and our program will work perfectly fine so g plus plus demo using cpp you can see we have got the output something like hello world let us say we have defined our own name space like name space test within this name space i have defined a variable a function let us say the function is uh, like this like int add int a comma int b and let us say the function return the value a plus b so now i'll avoid this hello world let us say if i need to use this function add within the main function then what i have to do is let us say define let us define two variable in x y and let us write full place code now like enter two numbers in l let us use this c in to x and another two y read the two variables or two values into variable x and y now once we have two variables uh, two values within x and y now let us use this let us call this function add which is defined within this test namespace so what you can do is see out sum equals to let us call this function add since add is defined within this test namespace so use this namespace test and use a scope resolution operator to call add and since add function uses two arguments so we need to call this function using two arguments so we already have the values in x and y and now we can write in the see if i'll compile this code we get the value like enter two numbers let us say the value numbers are 10 another number is 20 you can see the sum equals to 30. now let us use this using directive here now using name space test now we can avoid using this scope resolution operator now so this using directive help you to import all the entities defined within this test namespace so since add is defined within this test namespace now we need not to use this scope resolution operator and we will still get the same output now see 2 and 3 we got the sum as a 5 so this is the advantage or this is the way to use using directive in c++ program it help you to import all the all the entities which can be variables it can be any function it can be any classes that are defined within this namespaces so 
let us understand this concept of namespace again by using another program let us say i have used test underscore name space dot cpp let's say has include are you a stream and i'm using using name space std so i'm importing all the variables function that are defined within this uh, scope of std namespace now let us define our own namespace here let us say the namespace is namespace name is test um, i have defined it defined a variable x is equals to 20 over here now using namespace test int main let us define another variable with the same name as a variable defined within this test namespace so int let us say x is equals to 25 so see out value of x is equals to x indel now let us understand uh, like which uh, what will be the preference of variable x so we'll be printing so what will be the output so whether it will be the variable x that is defined locally within the main function or the output will be the variable x that is defined within the test namespace so let us first test this program and then understand the output so return zero if i'll compile this code and run this code so g plus plus test underscore namespace dot cvp dot slash a dot out you can see you got the value of x as a 25 so obviously the variable that is defined locally within the main function will get higher preference compared to the variable that is defined within the given namespace called as a test so in this way these are the concept that is related to the uh, concept called as a namespace in c plus plus program i hope every one of you understood the concept if you have any question regarding this please uh, mention in the comment section and please like and subscribe this video and if you have any question please let us know we'll try to answer it uh, thank you so much now after discussing this concept like uh, let us discuss some of the multiple choice question uh, for this namespace concept so as you can see we have uh, you can see the definition and like advantages of using namespace concept of namespace is like see namespace is a feature in c plus plus that allowed you to group related codes such as a function classes and variable into separate logical scopes logical scopes means within that curly braces why use namespaces avoid naming conflict code organization encapsulation and modularity obviously we discussed all those concepts by using the con by writing the code i hope every one of you understood that now let us discuss some multiple choice multiple choice questions Related with the concept called as a namespace. So the first is, what is namespace in C++? The options are, uh, namespace is a keyword that defines a new class, a container that hosts variable and function, a data structure for dynamic memory allocation, a library for input and output operations. So obviously, the answer will be B, a container that hosts variable and functions. So that is the namespace. So you can see the answer as B, a container that hosts the variables and function now another question is which keyword is used to define namespace in c plus plus obviously the answer is c which is the namespace keyword you can use the namespace keyword to define your namespace so the answer is c now what is the purpose of using namespace to define classes obviously no now, second is to organize code into logical group which is obviously s and the remaining are incorrect answer like to allocate memory dynamically to perform input and output operation are wrong answer so the output will be or the answer will be to answer will be b which is to organize the code into logical groups which of the following is true regarding namespace a namespace can only be defined once in a program namespace can be nested within other namespaces namespaces are optional 
and namespace can hold variables not functions so obviously the output answer will be b namespace can be nested within other namespaces we have discussed this concept by using example code also i hope everyone of you can recall that now the another question is why which statement correctly access the variable x inside a namespace x namespace call as a my namespace so the name of the namespace is my namespace so we can we have to use a scope resolution operator so my namespace uh, sorry i think uh, there is a printing mistake here we can so the name of the namespace is my namespace so we can access it using something like this so my name space a scope resolution operator and what is the variable name x so you can write something like this so by using a scope resolution operator we can access that so i think i have missed the scope resolution operator over here what is the purpose of using directives in purpose of the using directive in c uh, uh, c++ namespaces to create new namespace to import a specific function from a namespace to declare a variable to make all names in the namespace accessible without qualification obviously the answer will be d so by using the using directive you can access or you can make all the variables function defined within the namespace available within our scope so that is the correct so d is the correct answer what happens if two namespaces have the same name the program will not compile the namespace will merge into single namespace the compiler issues a warning but the program will run the namespace will be treated as a separate and distinct entities the namespace will be treated as separate and distinct entities so let us understand this question by writing a simple program or let us say i have another namespace with the same name you can see we have two namespace with the same name test and test and if i'll write int y is equals to 20 let us say i'm using the same thing here using namespace test what happens i will avoid that use that see out if i write the value of y and uh, let us see can i print the value of y or not see we are able to print the value of y so it does not throw any type of compilation error and this test namespace is treated as a separate unit so obviously the output uh, answer will be d the namespace will be treated as a separate and distinct and it is which operator is used to access the member of namespace obviously the answer is a scope resolution operator can namespace be reopened and extend to new declaration yes the namespace can be extended so the answer is a yes the namespace can be extended what the global namespace is what is the global namespace in c plus plus so the namespace that holds all user defined classes the namespace used for input output operation the namespace where global variable and function resides and the namespace created by compiler for system level operation so the answer is c the namespace where the global variables and function defined that is the global namespace another question is what is the syntax for creating alias for the namespace means the answer is namespace using alias namespace is equals to my namespace so you can create alias for your namespace like this let us say how to create alias uh, let us say we have another only one namespace here namespace test namespace t is equals to test if i write t is to x you can see we have created alias for this namespace test so the alias name is t so by using t you can access the variable x over here what is the uh, which of the following is a valid way to define a nested namespace so namespace within the namespace the answer is uh, like valid way to define a nested namespace 
so like this is the correct way to access the nested namespace like we have discussed about that namespace one is scope resolution operator namespace two uh, which of the following is tr true about the using directive in namespace so the using directive bring all the names from namespace into a current scope so that is correct answer answer is b uh, in another question can namespace be used to resolve the naming conflict in c++ obviously the answer is s can namespace be split across multiple file so the answer is a by defining namespace in a header file and included it in the multiple source file like if you want to include your namespace across the multiple file so define namespace within the header files and use the header file across all the files that you want which of the following is valid c++ namespace declaration so my namespace my namespace so the answer is c namespace my namespace and curly bracket within that you can write your codes can namespace be used in conjunction with classes s namespace can be used to organize the classes means it means you can define any valid code or write any valid code within the namespace so what will be the output of the following c++, uh, c++ code you can see the code is like something like this we have a namespace a with variable a is equals to 10 namespace b c out is equals to 5 obviously it will throw the error like c out c out is the standard keyword defined within this standard namespaces so the output will be c it will throw the error means we are trying to redefine c out means the c out is already defined in the std and we are trying to redefine c out within the names uh, namespace b so our compiler will get confused like which c out to use and it will throw the error uh, what will be the output of the following C++ code A, bar 10, bar 5, using namespace B, bar, so the output will be, uh, like, the output is uh, A, which is 5, so you can see, namespace B, define the variable, so since we are using this namespace B, uh, within this main function, so bar, the value of, uh, bar, which is defined within the B namescope is, I mean, we will get the output as a, 5 over here so the correct answer is b what will the output of the following c plus plus code a with var equals to 10 b var is equals to 5 int var is equals to 20 using namespace b var so the output will be c which is 20 we have discussed this thing by using code like the local variable will get higher preference compared to the variable defined within the namespaces uh, what will be the output of the following c plus plus code so int var is equals to 10 c out var so the output will be a which is 10 so uh, so these are the concept related to the namespace concept in the c++ program if you have any question please let us know thank you so much everyone please like share and subscribe our channel thank you so much so let us meet in our next video tutorial thank you